win. Good play from him. And it's nearly two. And it is. It's Curtis Davis this time. The defenders are doing the job. And Arsenal have got no defence against them. This is the FA Cup. You better believe it. Set up for Huddleston. Oh, and it ended up in the back of the net. James Chester got the touch. Well, it wasn't quite the route that they anticipated, but it's given Hull City the underdogs. What could turn out to be a famous first goal. Well, what a start for Hull. I mean, again, you can see Arsenal mainly marking zonally, and they've just completely left space on the edge of the box for the shot to come in. But I think Chester does remarkably well because this comes at him so quickly, and all he does is redirect it because the pace is already on it, and he just has to steer it. And it's out of Fabianski's reach. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about that, and Arsenal just got caught cold and didn't defend it well. Jim, he shouldn't be playing. He's the one he was ruled out. Steve Bruce saw him running on Monday at the start of this week, said, well, you better do a bit more. You might be able to train with us. He trained on Thursday. And he's in the team because he has been their most consistent defender this season. And now he's a Wembley goal scorer. This is what the FA Cup... They, it writes chapters like this. It's just an improbable story. And it might not be an impossible dream for Hull City. Set-piece threats to undo Arsenal again. Quinn, good play from him. And it's nearly two, and it is! It's Curtis Davis this time! The defenders are doing the job, and Arsenal have got no defence against them! This is the FA Cup, you better believe it! Arsenal have been flat-footed and asleep at the back. Miner almost beats Sanya, but doesn't Quinn do extremely well to get it back in? Fabianski does very well too to deal with Bruce's effort, and it just falls perfectly. The first one reacting is the skipper, Curtis Davis. It took a little deflection, the header as well, and uncut the upright. It wasn't Fabianski, but. He can do nothing about the follow-up again because Davis is just perfectly positioned and this is just a nightmare start. It brings back memories of Stamford Bridge and Anfield this season. from him and even though it is a good free kick and well placed from Cazorla I think Alan McGregor has helped his cause
close range by Laurent Koscielny. He's the one the Arsenal players jump on. It's another defender. And Arsene Wenger's team have come back from 2-0 down at Wembley. Bruce has to take it on the chin. What incredible as well that has come from yet another set piece. And again, I think the damage was done once Hall failed to win the first one. And Koscielny is fortunate in the fact that the ricochet fell really kindly for him. Holler by now all looking at the ball, it comes off another whole player to fall from, and all he's got to do is swivel. And even then, I'm not sure the contact was great. It doesn't matter. He got something on it to get it to cross that line. And it's been improving from Arsenal since they made the change. And they're right back in it now. That's a, a huge bonus for Schiff. Koscielny, who was caught by Alan McGregor, trying to keep it out. Sonogo I think does wonderfully well, maybe a little fortunate in the fact that it finds its way to the far post. But Kieran Gibbs knew as soon as he set this up, on a strong left foot as well, that this could be his moment, and I cannot believe he's gone under it to that extent. What, what a miss. Another defender. Another defender. Arsenal going to win, he won't be too bothered. And here's Sonogo! a chance to get your very first goal for a club to win the FA Cup. Yeah, and the problem for him was, as soon as he picks this up, Sonogo, is that he, uh, he doesn't get clean contact. What's the way he plays it into the ground? And that's why the ball jumped and bounced, and it, it didn't help its, its direction either, just always a little off, and, and only a little. But it wasn't his, um, his cleanest. Extra time at Wembley. After 90 minutes, Arsenal 2, Hull City 2, and it's been brilliant. Ramsey. Ozil. Arteta doesn't usually get this far forward. Ramsey, oh, it's beautifully working, Ramsey. Oh, he can't. The conventional wisdom is to go across goal in those circumstances. Maybe he was just caught in the act of shooting. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I think this is the difference between the teams. Arsenal have that in their locker, that, that lovely, quick passing and movement, that, that better understanding and instinct. And like you, I'm a little surprised that he didn't go right across Alan McGregor, Aaron Ramsey.
for so much of the game he's had to bide his time, he's had to wait, and he's not made the adventurers running forward that we've seen so often from him this season. But he's been given much more freedom as the game has progressed. And just look at the little dart he made into the box and the lovely little flip back as well by Giroud to find him. And that is just a peach of a strike just inside that near post with too much pace on it for McGregor to even think about getting there. And finally, finally, Arsenal are in front. And they're full of running here, as you would be if you're winning. Here comes Rosetsky. He's in. Is he going to finish? Well, no, it's not the Arsenal way, is it? He's going to pass it. Why, why, why Jim Benger's looking at me and saying the same thing? It doesn't matter. Arsene Benger's nine-year wait is over. Arsenal's nine-year wait is over. The FA Cup final has, in the end, gone to Premier League four, but they were 2-0 down, the Benger boys, so early. But they turned it around. And Aaron Ramsey has the Wales flag wrapped around him. Tector is edging into shot. Arsenal have their hands on a trophy again. They are winners of the 2014 FA Cup.